Apples on ground, Skyhawk 2-3, Mike Zulu, IFR to CMI, ready to copy. Skyhawk 2-3, Mike Zulu, Apples on ground, cleared to uh, Charlie Mike India Airport, as file. Climb maintain 3000, expect 8000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure control, frequency 126.3, squawk 1633. All right, 2 Mike Zulu is cleared to Charlie Mike India, as file 3000, 8010, 126.3, squawk in 1633. We have Charlie, we're coming out of the Mike Field parking by November, ready to taxi. Skyhawk, uh, 3 Mike Zulu, read back correct. I'll tell you now, 295, runway 30, taxi via November. 30 via November, 2 Mike Zulu, thanks. Let me just confirm that with you, so... 30 via November. Let me get us where we are. So, yep, we're coming out right here, Matt. So, it'll be just a quick right on November to November 4, 30. Got it. All right. Looks like you're clear of everything. Ooh, no, oh, coming off that grass. A little big dip there. I'm sorry. All right. There's November. There is November. It's going to be a right turn on November, sir. Run ups already complete. Uh, thanks for getting the squat code in. Autopilot set. Thanks. So I'm going to switch over to tower. Our departure frequency was 126.3. 1263. He updated us to 2975. Now we've got 1633 in the squawk. This is runway 30. You've got 3000 bug, 8010. Everything else looks good. I have a 525 Tingo Tingo up the ground, clear to Shine Airport as file, climb, maintain 3000. All right. This is just an ILS critical zone, so go around and cross it, tell us hold short. I'm going to get Matt's door. All right. For those of you who watched last year's departure on Appleton video, a B did not attack us this year. We spent most of our pre-flight getting a B out of the cockpit. We had to shut down and everything, didn't we? Yeah, we, we started up and we had to shut down. That's right. That's right. Tower Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, November 4, 30, await an IFR release. Says, uh, Cessna 23, Mike Zulu, up tower taxi up two, hold short runway 30. And now runway 30, fly right hand, clear for takeoff, wind 290 at 13, gust 17. Runway hand 30, clear for takeoff, thank you. 23, Mike Zulu. That was a long radio call. I had to, I had to think for a second. What and needed I to be written? Uh, there's somebody calling for a VFR departure. Oh yeah, my door is confirmed closed. Everything's in. All right, we're good to go. I do see three when zero outside, sir, right and I confirm this will be three zero on your compass as well. It's a little gusty, so we ready? We got some, some friendly clouds in front of us too. That was sarcasm. Yep. Epic 5, Tingo Tingo, runway 30. Here's kids live. I confirm. Is in the green. Sure is. Pressure looks great. Uh, fresh oil looks good. Alright, so we're runway heading up to 3,000 feet on out of here. We're waiting for him to switch us over to departure. I've got departure queued up in our number two. And we got some clouds in front of us, Sims, right? 36, Romeo Golf up and ground, Roger, safe position. We'll see how these guys do. That might be a, a it fun looked, flight. Look pretty thin. Uh, 36, Romeo these Golf, guys maybe not as much here. There's, there's gray is my November. concern. Yeah. And uh, field is uh, the VFR. The sky, uh, ceilings are at uh, over 2,000. Uh, three Mike Zulu, contact Green Bay departure. Have safe flight. Our departure, see you to the Mike Zulu. All right, let's check out the Green Bay. I'm saying it's out, 1316. Green Bay, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, 1600, climb 3000. Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, Green Bay departure, you are radar contact. Stern uh, on left, heading 130, climb and maintain 8000. 8000, left turn to 130 to the Mike Zulu. Big turn. I was going to say. 130, it's, oh, it's kind of past our course. Yeah, we were 181. Yeah. Approach, good morning. King F5, I'm up the way to fly over. I wonder if that's what Chicago's going to want, or? Yeah, I wonder where they're sending us. King Air 5, F, uh, 7, top of Green Bay. Bug yourself for 8,000, too. 4, descend to your discretion to maintain uh, 9 or 1,000 for now. All right, discretion is 9 or 1,000, 4, 7, Bravo. Got it. 
So I know a lot of you ask why we keep the airplane up at Appleton. And, and typically, I mean, you saw the departure with Magda and I. Typically, the departure and the arrival, even with Coach Ray, was, was relatively easy. Um, I'd say that the, the arrival was of moderate difficulty uh, compared to the year we did with Hunter. Uh, if you want to go back a few years and see that one, that was a very stressful one. The departure was just one minor, one super, minor, super easy. Typically, we leave it up at Appleton, though, just so it's it's out, it's away from the show, it's uh, it's easier in and out, everything else. We'll fly it in for the videos, something else that you saw, but just easier for us. You saw we're the only airplane left. Everybody else kind of departed um, Appleton, so it's just nice um, and uh, and everything from that standpoint. So that's why we typically uh, typically do that. So. I wonder why he's bringing us, because if anything, I thought he would, because we got Chicago to contend with, if anything, I thought he'd bring us out like towards Madison, out to the west. Yeah. Um, unless Chicago, maybe he's going to bring us right over top of the runway complex, I don't yeah, know. Would not be, be a bad thing. Pretty awesome, huh? The bases are at three. The bases are at 3,000, exactly, is right. All right, Missouri Nation going IFR. Temperature's good. Yeah, that's the case. I don't know where he is, but wow. He's at the tops? Tops are at 7,500. Mike, Zulu contact uh, Milwaukee approach on 127.37. 2737, you have a good day. 2737 to the Mike Zulu. Now when we check in with him, I'm going to let him know our heading too, just because we're not exactly Weird. on course. Milwaukee Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, 3,500 climb, 8,000 heading, 130 assigned. Normally I would. 23, uh, Mike Zulu, Milwaukee approach, altimeter is uh, 2976. 76, thanks to the Mike Zulu. Normally I would check in. He didn't seem to care, by the way, did he? <laughs> nope. I would, normally I would check in with heading, but it's just such an odd heading. Be like a 181. Um, I mean, that's going to change now with this crazy vector out over the lake, but um, we should be about a 181. So a 130 is very much off course. Well, I appreciate the tailwind, it's, it's pushing us far in the wrong direction. So, our 23 Mike Zulu, uh, see direct champagne. Direct champagne now, thanks to the Mike Zulu. That's what I was hoping for. So, what we'll do is we'll queue it up. Matt's got it. We're going to go direct enter, enter on the GPS. We're going to turn. Zulu, I'm Actually going to have a, a route around uh, Chicago Approaches airspace for you, but for right now, see direct Champagne, and I'll have that routing for you when I get a chance. We'll be ready to copy whenever you are to the next zone. That's what I didn't want, but that's okay. So what, let me explain to you everything just happened. He gave us direct Champagne. Uh, Matt, very, we were on heading mode on the autopilot. Matt very smartly went direct enter, enter, because we had Champagne already loaded, that we were as filed, we filed direct Champagne. He went direct, enter, enter, gave us the most direct route, switched the autopilot over to GPS mode now, thus it made the turn while we're still climbing up and through. However, he came back, he's gonna have some rerouting for us. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to clear my scratch pad because I don't need any of this anymore. I had to guess we're gonna get that Tango route around the outside like We've we did. done that last, yeah. We We've put six he brought us east just to bring us back west. So what Matt, Matt is concerned, let me show you on a low and root chart. Matt's concern, this happened to us last year. Where's that Tango route, Matt? Uh, this right here. Yeah, way outside. Yeah. It's like, see this Tango route starting at JB? We got this last year to Grift. Uh, two, three, Mike Zulu, what else are you climbing to now? 8,000. Thank you. He's working it now. So they've given us this Tango route before, which would really be unfortunate because they brought us kind of east just to bring us back across our route again. It's, 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 that's IFR flying. Very rarely do you get direct. Everyone fights and pushes for direct, as long as you get it. Uh, I was hoping our direct route, I mean, it barely breaks us over the Bravo. This is what Bravo looks like on a low and root chart, for those of you who don't know. Um, they don't get into all the multiple wedding cake kind of layers. We're just kind of kissing. I mean, maybe we can get like a, a different GPS fix, like... Maybe just something right on the outside. Just to, or, yeah, just there. something to give us there and then direct. We'll see how that goes, so... Our two, three, Mike Zulu, see direct to Rockford, then Champaign. Direct Rockford, then Champagne to the Mike Zulu. You know, we, we flight plan, I'll show you. We flight plan, you know, straight ahead. So let's look at this. We got, we flight planned 
two hours, you know, 13 minutes, and we're currently showing about 223 now. So you all, this is why you, you can never have too much fuel. The only time you have too much fuel is when you're on fire. So it, it's a kind of a joke, but it's true. And this is also why we do these short little stops. Could Matt and I have made it way past Champagne and probably made it to like Evansville or something? Absolutely, we probably could have. But why would we want to? It's just unnecessary. In IFR conditions like this, already getting reroutes around Chicago and everything, it just makes sense. Um, carry the extra fuel, do shorter legs. November 7 zero Lima, turn right, direct command. All right, Missouri Nation made it up on top now. Last guy said 7,500 uh, for the top, so like 6,500. It's kind of patchy, though, as you can see. Uh, but out of the IFR conditions, be be beautiful okay. up on top. South of the Oshkosh Airport. Everything looks good temp-wise. Looks good, about 10 C up here, so good temperatures, everything else. Did a little bit of rain, but all kept moving, no ice, anything to worry about. Still direct Rockford now, and then on over, but just wanted to share with you the pretty view. Let's uh, fast forward a little bit. We'll pick it up a little bit further into the flight. November 3, Mike Zulu, 8 miles from sub you maintain 3,000 till established on the final approach, board speed, RNAV runway, keep your approach. 3,000 till established, cleared RNAV 2-2 approach, thanks to the Mike Zulu. Now you can, yep, exactly, let it capture it. Right, so so line. Yeah, I'll say about another 10 seconds. Should be considered a stat Remember, 905 Papa traffic at 10 good. to 11 o'clock at 5 right. miles south. Go for it. I'm going to keep 3,700. It's armed. Don't need anything. Either grab it and ride her down. Look good. Airspeed looks Skyhawk good. Skyhawk 3, Mike Zulu, contact tower 1 to 0 point 4. Have a wonderful day. Dark tower, see you to the Mike Zulu. Afternoon Tower Skyhawk 23 Mike Zulu's 3 from Zubkey. Number 23 Mike Zulu, Champagne Tower, Romain 2 2, clear land. 2 2, clear land, thanks to the Mike Zulu. Look good. Glide slope is armed on the Mike Zulu table, report basis. Welcome. They asked us if able report basis. I was saying earlier, GPS is armed. I'm sorry, glide slope is armed. We're right on our course. You're looking great, Mile. Matt, we're two from Zupke. Dumping some flaps. Yeah. So. Early before it tries to ride that glide slope on down, which it's going to start doing here in a second. Baby, I'm in, which we have the privilege to do in this plane. All right. Hey, we're 2,800 descending 1,000. We're going to break out right about here, aren't altitude. we? Altitude. Still don't see the airport. Still don't see the airport either. I'll tell bases here in just a second because they're not technically still, at the base yet. They'll be in it. Ah, turn it. Oh, wow. Got it. We got to. Just quite the crab. Yeah, we do have quite the crab. Yeah, you're right. We have such a crab angle. I, was I, was, I saw the runway, but I'm, that, that's not that's a runway. Not run <laughs> it's not a circling approach. Yeah. It's supposed to be the college, all the stadiums and stuff. All right. What do you think bases are? Another... We're still, I yeah, say we're still in them. We're still technically in them, kind of, yeah. I'd say bases are right about here, about 2300. Yeah, I agree. And base is 2300 for 23 Mike Zulu. Okay. So you asked me what the bases were, right? Because Matt and I were having that problem coming in here. Uh, uh, Champagne Approach told us one thing, they told us another thing, the ADA says another thing, so they were probably just looking for a good pyro. I mean, it is kind of a scattered, kind of funky layer, huh? Yeah. Uh, all pilots working hard to hold that <laughs> localizer, but the wind is working harder, huh? Sure is. Jeez. Hey, all pilots off. All right, confirm disconnected. Make sure it's coming rich for you. You got the airplane. Give us a pretty landing. Approaching altitude. 500. Like us on 19, so no issues. <laughs> like every other landing we've had this whole time. Huh? Yep. Of these golfers hit us off the tee box. Waving at us. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Wave back at him. We don't screw up any please. Shot. Over the cornfield we go. 
and on runway two. It's sporty. It is a little sporty. That nose coming down just a hair longer, crossing is hard from the right. Good job. Nice landing. This is that cross and correction in there. I'll get your flaps up to the right. Yep, I got your flaps up. And Charlie to the left, please. Flaps confirmed up. Hot. Number three, Mike Sulu, disabled to left next taxiway, taxi straight ahead to ramp. Charlie the ramp with you. Thanks, to Mike Sulu. All righty. Well, M Zero Nation, we did it. We made it to Champaign, Illinois, right? Is yep. the state we're in? Can't remember anymore. Grab some fuel, grab some water, and then off to Nashville for an overnight, and then home. I had to sleep in my own bed. Anyways, can't wait to read your comments down below this video. Have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day, and most importantly, remember, the good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see ya. Well, they had us direct hickory on the approach, but are now taking us uh, a 180, so we'll see. I don't know if he busted us off the ILS or not. I have a feeling he's going to keep us out, out of the way. He's going to cut yeah, us over just because he visual. said everyone's visual. Two, three, Mike Zulu, expect the ILS approach on my two zero left. We'll switch up two zero left now to the Mike Zulu. Wow, that is a switch. You ready? 129, reduce speed to 170. This place is a zoo. Zero, Renio 129. Typical 137 Echo Romeo following the 172, runway 20 left. Typical 137 Echo Romeo, National Tower, you have a 10 knot overtake on the Skyhawk number 2, runway 20 left, third line. Good land, 20 up, we'll put the owner down, 7 Echo Romeo. Put the anchor up. Had to call us out, huh? He did call us out. 10 knot overtake.